Hey, Tom Donnie here. Going to look today at a Saab oil pump. This is a uh, three-cylinder oil injection pump. It's got a drive gear on it just like the distributor does. Impossible to get off just like the distributor one is. And then this is the piece that comes out with the big snap ring on the end here. You take that big snap ring out. Here it is here. And this is an eccentric, and that's what, as everything gets spin, and that spins around, and it, it rolls this gear and gets everything going. So that's really all that's going on there as far as pumping. Um, I would, I'd advise you not to take this apart. There's no point to take it apart. These things are never bad. Clean them up from the outside. Shoot some solvent down in here, whatever. Rinse out the oil out of there if you want. Um, this little side plate, we've taken it off. It's got a little puck in it. That goes down in it actually engages into this drive here and the spring on the back so it goes the puck first then the spring again you don't get hardly any oil out of there so i wouldn't mess with these this is your sometimes you got to take these off because they're broke <clears throat> this is your indicator light your ground signal for your oil light and this is going to go down in this hole that way down in there and it's going to pump and each time it doesn't each time pressure forces this off it's going to release It'll release this brass contact off of the body and it'll take the ground away from your relay. Then as pressure bleeds off, it's going to push back down with spring pressure. This will touch the body of the unit and you'll get a signal for your relay. So sometimes you got to take that off and play with that a bit. If you don't have a pump that's pumping oil light properly, that could be stuck on you, but I doubt it. This is your outside piece. Um, this presses in this way. Again, it rides all with part of these gears. It's all rides together. And then you've got a series of some type of regulation and anti probably backward movement here. These little cats. And again, I would not take this apart. It's, it's kind of a once you take it apart, it's like how in the hell did it come apart? But that little guy goes in there. Then this, there's a spring down in here. And this little piece will slide in and it pumps back and forth. So those two go into here, and again, I don't even remember how it came apart now. So I would not suggest taking it apart and playing with it. If you, I wouldn't even take this cover off to clean it. You can clean in through here and get most of the oil out. I think you're just playing with fire when you mess with them. If you got one you don't think's working right, just replace it. There's plenty of them around. You cannot get any internal parts anyway, so why take it apart and take a chance? That's about all I have for you today. This is Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge signing off.